Okay, these four uh, sets of videos about titrations really cover a lot about IB, the stoichiometry infiltrates almost every unit, the concepts of precision, the techniques, pretty much if you can get these four videos I think you deserve a seven. Uh, so please have a careful look at them, I think everyone who does IB needs to watch these. So what I've done here is I've developed a lab that looks at the different the different concentrations of standard solutions. Now in IB the standard solution is considered to have uh, no uncertainty. It's considered to be 100% accurate. Well that's for your IAs and extended essays. And so what we're going to look at is your uncertainty error which is really topic 11 and we're going to do a titration which is really a stoichiometry that's going to take you through your other topics. So what I've asking students to do, and so what I've, I've just done, uh, just to test, how, see how it goes, and so I can do this video, is prepare two different types of standard solutions. One that's uh, stronger, one one that's weak, and one that's stronger. And what you should find is because you've increased the volumes and you've uh, increased the sensitivity of of the result sensitivity of the result. You should find that this one will hopefully give you less uncertainty and also more accuracy. So more precision and more accuracy. So in order to do this I've just done a quick calculation here. So I've got here well how much what sort of uh, weight am I going to look at? It's going to be around 5 grams. Uh, so I've taken I'm going to use a volume 250 mil volumetric flask and so I need to know how many grams to add. So if I want a 0.5 molar, then I times six, uh, number of moles is concentration times volume. So I'm going to need 0.125 moles. And then if I'm going to do that, I need to work out the mass. So the mass of 0.125 moles uh, is 40 grams per mole for sodium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide. So I need about 5 grams. Okay, so uh, before we go on to the next stage, which is below, uh, let's just do that. So here I've got a metal balancers. Here's my hy sodium hydroxide pellets. And you can see here uh, the various accuracies and contaminants. And so what I do is I tear it, I put a weighing boat in there, and I add the sodium hydroxide. Now my final volume, you can look, is uh, 5.33. What you can see here in that weighing boat there is that they're starting to get a little bit shiny and so what's happening is the water from the air is starting to grab onto it because it's so concentrated so that's going to affect your error as well so you need to be quick about what you're doing with these things. Okay so uh, the main technique here not to forget is you're trying to get every single particle you're trying to get this 100% accurate so you need to wash out the weighing boat wash it into the funnel, wash all the funnel in and then put it in like so so once the sodium hydroxide has fully dissolved in the water, you can then put it back on the bench and at eye level make it up to the marks with enough water. And so then you've added enough water, then you can make sure it's fully mixed. Now here I can also demonstrate uh, the parallax error. So I look at if I look at it below, and if I look at it from too high above, again it looks like uh, that one. It looks like I've added too much. So you've got to make sure you're you're got it just right to your eye on, and the bottom of the meniscus just touches the mark. All right, finally, just to make sure it's mixed, I don't know if my chemistry professor when I was at uni was serious or not, but he said the UPAC rules was quarter turn, and mix up down twenty times and then you know it's fully mixed. Uh, just as a side note, when I was making the three molar acid, it was really, really hot, so I went out to lunch. When I came back, uh, it had decreased. I made it up to the mark and it had decreased by that much. So be aware of uh, things that have been, been heated up. So going back to these calculations now, so what I ended up using, because they were pellets, you can't get exactly uh, five grams so I probably could have got closer to five but I, I put 5.33 down here that I got on the scale uh, and so then I have to work out what was the actual concentration I actually used so the number of moles in 5.33 grams is 0.133 moles and that was made up to 250 mils so the concentration in that con in that volumetric flask was 0 
uh, 3 molar. Now I did a similar thing with a lot more mass and uh, so with that with 30 grams uh, and I, I tried to get that much closer because it was much easier to do that way uh, because it was so large that's the one that gave off lots of heat and so I got a final concentration for that as actually 3.008 molar. Okay so these are your standard solutions and they're considered to have no uncertainty. Please go on to the next video and work out and see how to make dilutions.